Yes, good morning. Okay, good morning. Uh, welcome back to the session on digital modulation techniques. Uh, so far, we have discussed about binary phase shift keying. And then we have discussed about quadrature phase shift keying. Then uh, we have discussed about offset quadrature phase shift keying, OQPSK. Right? So today we will discuss about uh, quadrature amplitude modulation. Okay. So, in case of uh, BPSK, uh, the bit information or symbol information is uh, carried in the phase of the carrier, right? right. In there only uh, one bit per symbol in BPSK, and with only two phases. Okay, symbol zero with one phase and symbol one with another phase. In case of QPSK, so we could uh, uh, convey uh, two die bits, means four different symbols that is from zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one with four different carrier phases. That is what happened in QPSK. As I said, the QPSK is a bandwidth efficient scheme. So it carries double the data compared to BPSK. <coughs> and then I discussed it about what uh, problems in QPSK. I said whenever the in phase and the quadrature component both changes, uh, that is the bit stream of uh, in phase and quadrature component changes, what happens? The carrier phase undergoes a phase shift of 180 degree, right? So that 180 degree phase shift change in the 180 degree phase shift of the carrier leads to amplitude fluctuations. Okay. That amplitude fluctuations of the modulated signal uh, leads to uh, error in the receiver side. But to overcome that, uh, we have made a plan to confine the change in the phase of the carrier only to plus or minus 90 degree. So that is done in OQPSK by delaying one bit interval of the quadrature component right compared or with respect to the in phase component so that we have discussed so far so now uh, let me just uh, say what uh, m and even we have discussed about uh, m array phase shift keying right so i took the value of uh, m is equal to 8 that is that is uh, 8 psk also we have discussed and uh, we have discussed about the bandwidth efficiency of mra phase shift keying uh, modulation right as the value of m increases the bandwidth efficiency also increases <coughs> Just before I take up one, that is potential amplitude modulation, let me clarify some of the basic things. Okay, that is bits to symbols. So as I said, in case of UPSK, the incoming serial data, our incoming input data sequence is converted by using serial to parallel converter, right? You are not. So the bit stream to be transmitted is serial to parallel multiplexed onto a stream of symbols with 
I've taken here the symbol as Q, uh, yesterday I said N, okay? don't worry about this notation. So Q bits per symbol. So the number of discrete levels will be 2 power Q levels. So I said M equal to 2 power N, right? So where N is the number of bits. So here, that Q is equal to 2 bits per symbol means it is a four array modulation, I said. Okay. So the symbol period will be twice the bit period. Okay, so TS is equal to uh, twice the bit period. So for example, I have taken here the bit stream, uh, bit stream as uh, uh, one double zero, triple one, zero one double zero. This is my incoming data. So here, how I map this bit stream into a symbol stream. So here I've taken four different amplitude levels. Okay? For 0, 0, 0 0th level, 0, 1, another level, 1, 0, another level, for 1, 1, another level. So I will be representing this 1, 0 with this for two bit duration, 1, 0, this is a level. Then for next 0, 1, so this level. Then for 1, 1, so this level. Okay, then for 0, 1, this level. And for 0, 0, this one. So this we uh, call as uh, different levels. Okay, with each symbol is represented with a different amplitude level. Okay. So as I said here, the symbol rate will be half of the bit rate. Okay. So this is just how we map a bit stream into a symbol stream. So next one is amplitude shift keying. That's why I'm taking ASK, PSK because QAM is combination of ASK and PSK. That is why I'm just telling about ASK. <coughs> In case of ASK, the so carrier amplitude is used to carry the symbol information. Okay. So here I have considered uh, uh, four symbols, that is 10, 11, 01, 00. So I have written the signal constellation diagram and there is no quadrature component in case of uh, this uh, ASK modulation, that is four ASK. Okay. So only the in-phase component is there. So uh, see for 10, okay. I have taken this as signal amplitude. Means, uh, this is what the expression is SI of t is equal to a cos omega c t. Okay, so this is uh, for one zero symbol with one amplitude. Then for one one another amplitude. So uh, means the carrier amplitude is varied. Okay, this is one level. This is another level. And for zero one another amplitude level. And for zero zero another amplitude level. So amplitude of the carrier is used to carry the symbol information. So based on the value of amplitude, I can say whether it is uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1, okay? Uh, this is just ASK. So I said the uh, 4 ASK means it is a 4 uh, ASK modulation. That's 4 different amplitude levels I used to convey uh, two bits of information. It means I have here four symbols. And in case of, uh, so as I said, if I combine ASK and PSK, so in PSK I use a, a carrier phase to convey the symbol information, right? So here I've taken an example with where I combined both ASK and PSK. So again, I've taken a symbol of say 11, 10, 01, 00. So this is a signal constellation diagram what I've written. So this is the in-phase component and this is the quadrature component, okay? So I, I say this is a four array or four PM, means PM, pulse amplitude modulation, okay? And uh, here I'm using uh, uh, two different amplitude levels and the phase is 180 degree. Okay? So two amplitude levels and phase shift of 180 degree, that is pi. They are combined to represent four array symbols. See so zero, zero is a cosine signal, zero, zero, okay? Then zero, one, with less amplitude, right? Then again, one one of same amplitude of zero zero, then zero zero same, then for one zero another amplitude. Okay, but there is a, see, between zero zero and zero one <coughs> amplitude difference is there, right? And uh, for zero zero and one one there is a phase change. It starts with uh, plus ninety and zero zero starts with plus ninety. And this one one starts with minus ninety. Okay. I hope you are understanding what I am saying. 
and uh, two different amplitude levels okay and we say here root of m it is okay so l equal to root of m array or root of m pm so what is your component is also not used here only the in phase component okay but in when we combine this uh, uh ask and psk that becomes the potential amplitude modulation means it uses both the in phase and as well as potential branches or components so in quam what i would like to say is we will be using amplitude shift keying and as well as phase shift keying means amplitude and phase of the carrier is used to convey the uh, symbol information okay so amplitude and phase of the carrier is used to convey the symbol information in case of quam that is quadrature amplitude modulation so just uh, uh, I've written here uh, one uh, such example of QAM, which is for m equal to 16. Okay, so as I said, QAM combines features of PSK and ASK and uses both in phase and quadrature components. And I can say it is very bandwidth efficient scheme because I will be able to send more and more uh, information by using QAM. I will come back to this signal constellation diagram. This is for m equal to 16. Okay. And uh, so this, uh, the value of m can be 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, and so on. Okay. So if it is uh, 16, means I, in one symbol, there will be four bits. Okay. So 2 power 4 is 16. Okay. From four zeros. 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1111. So it is 2 power uh, this one. So already discussed about MRA. See here I will just uh, give one example. Means how do we go for different uh, uh, levels of QAM? That is 64 QAM, 128 QAM, 256 QAM, and so on. So I have shown here with a different, uh, so, so this diagram says with a different speed and bandwidth, right? So the 64 QAM is chosen, uh, given it is used in uh, uh, WCDMA, that is in 3G standard, and it's 128, even to, up to 256 QAM is used in LTE, okay? That is in 4G standard. So this indicates here card is there and this is another vehicle, which means with a different speed, okay? So it is 14.4 Mbps, here it is 75 Mbps, so it is 100 Mbps and uh, LTE advanced provides uh, 150 Mbps. If I want more speed, means more data rate, I need to go for higher level of modulation, this one. If I go for higher uh, level of QAM, I will be able to achieve more speed and more bandwidth, more data rate. Uh, Okay, so what happened in QAM, <coughs> it is quadrature and modulation. I said uh, it is basically a two dimensional signaling, means it has a in phase component and as well as quadrature component, means uh, pi 1 and pi 2. Okay, two axes. So, original information stream is split into two sequences that already I said about odd and even sequence. So here I have taken BK and AK as the two sequences. So this is one sequence and this is another sequence. So this AK is the uh, in-phase component, what I say. So which in-phase component always multiplied with cos 2 pi FCT, right? And the potential component is always multiplied with sin 2 pi FCT, what I've written. So the composite signal, AK cos 2 pi FCT plus BK sin 2 pi FCT is the quam signal, what I can say, okay? So this is the amplitude, AK and BK, right? So here, uh, this is the incoming bit stream. This is divided into odd and even sequence. So AK multiplied by cos 2 pi FCT. Then BK is multiplied by sin 2 pi FCT. Both are added and transmitted. So this will be my QAM signal, potential amplitude modulation signal. So in QAM, what is the advantage I said? The data rate will be two bits per bit interval. Okay. So two bits per bit interval it is. That is the advantage. 
Why is that of QPSK? And uh, to continue with this, I said the number of bits transmitted per uh, symbol interval can be further increased by increasing the number of levels. As I said, in case of uh, uh, 16 level QAM, I use uh, four uh, bits per symbol. Okay. And with the four, uh, uh, even the amplitude levels will be different. Okay. I can say different amplitude levels. So I said data rate will be what? Four bits per pulse. So, this is just expression what I said for QPS uh, QAM moderated signal, right? So, to write uh, this in terms of uh, this magnitude and phase, so it is we know square root of A square K plus B square K, that is uh, uh, the magnitude, and uh, angle is this one, right? So, here AK and BK, that is in phase component and quadrature component, is how we have written these uh, uh, signal consolidation points, that's message points in the uh, different quadrants, first quadrant, second quadrant, third and fourth quadrant. I will come back to this. How do we write and how do we choose different amplitude levels and all. So as I said in QAM, so various combinations of amplitude and phase are employed to achieve higher data rates. Okay. Actually, the number of amplitude levels used will be less than the number of uh, 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 phases because the amplitude change uh, will be uh, leading to the error in the receiver. So hence, uh, we say amplitude changes are susceptible to noise. Amplitude changes are susceptible to noise. Hence, so the number of phase shifts used by QAM system is always greater than the number of amplitude, level, uh, amplitude shifts. Okay, so, so, in case of MRA PSK, what we have discussed, right? So the in phase and quadrature components are interrelated in such a way that the envelope is constant, right? Means in QPSK or MRA MPSK, amplitude has to be constant. But if we relax, means their amplitude is constant. Here, in case of uh, MQAM, we are using both amplitude, means we are varying the amplitude and as well as phase. That means if we relax that constraint, so we get the MRA QAM. So this is just to show an example of 16 PSK and this is 16 QAM. Means here see, this is uh, four different message points are there in first quadrant, okay, with the three phases. And uh, <coughs> this is one amplitude level and this is another amplitude level and this is another amplitude level. So it has three amplitude levels and one phase, two phase and three phases. Okay. Just, uh, yeah. Uh, let me say, how do we get this uh, um, signal space diagram so so far i was telling about that now uh, let me go yeah yeah to find the signal constellation diagram for uh, qam okay. i am considering two four array uh, pam uh, modulation and they are orthogonal constellations. So one I have taken as a horizontal, this one. Uh, this is a horizontally oriented constellation diagram, and this is a vertically uh, oriented constellation diagram. So four bits, four different symbols, okay? So as I said, uh, this is a four array PAM, no? So, uh, means to get a QAM, uh, 16 like okay, 4 array pm to 4 array pm we'll get 16 qam uh, this one how do i get the 16 qam signal constellation diagram to do that so what i am taking this vertical this one is the top down approach i'm saying means top down approach and here i'm taking this uh, horizontal this one is left to right okay left to right means 
I will be taking this first two symbols that is 1110 that will be multiplied with 1011. So I get the first quadrant of the message points. Similarly, uh, 1110 multiplied with 0100, I will get the second quadrant uh, message points. So 0001 okay, is multiplied with 1011, I will be getting third quadrant message points. And 0001 multiplied with 0100, I will be getting the fourth quadrant message points. And uh, <coughs> These message points are of uh, way encoded. So this is what I have done here. Okay, I have taken two you know, four array PAM, right? One horizontal and another in vertical. So for vertical, I am taking top down approach, and for horizontal, I am taking left to right approach. And uh, these uh, adjacent bits are gray encoded. Means what do you mean by gray encoded? Only there will be one bit change with the adjacent uh, symbol, right? If you consider this. You take any this one, it is a triple one zero, it is four ones, right? Only one bit change is there. Yeah, and similarly, this also one zero one zero, so it is one zero one one, only one bit change. Similarly, this also double one double zero, here it is double one zero one. So, like that for all, okay? So, I started with here four zeros, right? And with respect to this adjacent bit, only one bit change. So, this is zero one, right? Mm -hmm. Similarly, if I consider this, uh, only one bit chain, all the uh, quadrants, first, second, third, and fourth quadrant. So that is what here written here. So in the first quadrant, how do I get? This is the uh, vertical uh, uh, consolation diagram. I take on top, so that is one 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 zero. That is multiplied with the horizontal consolation diagram from left to right. That is one zero one one. So I get uh, four message points. Four message points. These are the first quadrant message points. Similarly, the second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. So, do you have any difficulty in understanding this? this is the procedure to be followed to write the uh, message points in the signal constellation diagram for different uh, uh, levels of M quam? So, this I have taken for M equal to 16. Means if I take say M is equal to 32. Then it will be how much? It will be 2 power 5, right? 32. And then uh, 64 means 2 power 6, means 6 bits per symbol. Okay. So, any difficulty in this, in understanding how to write the points in different quadrants? No, sir. You could understand. So start with this. So okay, this is the I said the four array PAM. I have taken uh, horizontal and vertical. So the procedure to be followed is that. So vertically oriented constellation is the top down approach we are using, and for horizontally oriented constellation we use a left to right approach. So I am just multiplying okay, with this two. Uh, this combination to get the first quadrant, second quadrant, this to this one, and for third quadrant, this one to this one, uh, this one, okay, and uh, fourth quadrant, 0, 0, 0, 0001 to 0, 0100. 0, 0. That's what is written, and uh, this can be written in uh, different ways also, okay. So, here, how many amplitude levels are there? Three different amplitude levels, right? This is one. From this if this has origin, this is one amplitude level, and this is another amplitude level. Okay, and this is another one, and this is another one. Totally three amplitude levels and uh, four phases, uh, three phases. This is one phase, another phase, and this is another phase. Okay, just to illustrate the same thing, I have taken one uh, animated this one. Let me see that. Um, so this is what. Uh, okay, in the previous case, I wrote in a simple manner that is AK cos of something and BK cos of something. So, this I can, the generalized formula for expressing M quam signal. So, I say of T equal to root of 2 E naught by T A cos 2 pi of CT plus root of 2 E naught by T B A sin 2 pi of CT over the interval 0 to T. Okay. 
Okay, so E naught is the energy of the signal with the lowest amplitude. Because uh, in QAM, I said that there are different amplitude levels, right? So E naught is the what? Energy of the signal with the lowest amplitude. Because there the amplitude keeps changing. So when the amplitude keeps changing, the energy of the signal also changes. <coughs> and there are two basis functions. One is pi 1 of t and another is pi 2 of t. So pi 1 of t is uh, root of 2 by t cos 2 pi of ct and pi 2 of t is root of 2 by t sin 2 pi of ct. Okay. <coughs> Uh, so let me again come back to 16 quam. Uh, in a brief, I would like to uh, say what it is. Uh, so, as I said, 16 state uh, will be there in the 16 quam, and uh, the in phase and quadrature values are used, right? In phase common quadrature components. I said the four bits per symbol. Right, that is 2 power 4 is equal to 16. So theoretically, we can say the bandwidth efficiency is 4 bits per second per hertz. Okay. In case of QPSK, it was 2 bits per second per hertz. Okay. So it is uh, for 16 quam, it is doubled. So I said data is split into two channels, that is in-phase and quadrature, right? So as with QPSK, so each channel will take two phases and with 16 QAM, it accommodates two intermediate amplitude levels also. Okay. So the two bits are routed to each channel simultaneously. Okay. So the two bits to each channel are added and then applied to the respective channels modulator. Uh, don't be confused with uh, this translation what I have written here and the just previous one what I have shown. So both are same only. Okay, here it is written in order. Okay, so you will take some time to understand this why here it is like this and why they are written like that. Okay, so what I said for 16 quam. Okay, so the number of symbols time means four bits is one symbol, right? So four zeros to four ones I have written a table. Four zeros to four ones. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on up to 15. Okay. And here, the uh, see three amplitude levels. Means if I consider this quadrant, one quadrant. Okay. So I started with uh, four zeros with 225 degree means this is the 225 degree, right? The 225 degree means this one. Okay. Is having amplitude of 0 0.33. And the maximum amplitude. Um, this right, yeah, this one. So this one, what I can say uh, is uh, this uh, this message point. Okay, this message point is mine is four zeros. So from here. To here, there is a uh, carrier phase of 225 degree, okay, with the amplitude of 0.33. Okay, the carrier amplitude is 0.33, and from here to here, the maximum I have taken amplitude is one. So that is what uh, this point, okay, this point. And the first one, what I can get is this one, 0.33. Okay, next one is this one, 225. Uh, this point from here to here. This is a 225. Degree, uh, 255 degree okay and this one is 0001 and uh, this one is 0010 so with the angle of 195 degree from here from here it is okay so for miss and uh, this and this will have the same amplitude okay this and this these two message points will have the same amplitude and these two so maximum amplitude is uh, maximum amplitude is, is one
okay so just i am running the slides so i hope you understand from this table how it is written from all zeros to 15 it is one so that is zero to 15 so here it is written please 225 255 195 right so 225 uh, uh, two amplitude levels will be there one is 0.33 okay one will be 0.33 and another one is uh, another one one will be 0.33 another one is uh, uh, one okay maximum amplitude means this is 0.33 and this is maximum number one I just I will run that. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. So just I'm showing this uh, animation. Means the first one is what? It's two twenty five degree it's having an amplitude of point three three. The next message point will be this. Okay, zero 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 one with an angle of two fifty five degree and a magnitude of point seven five. Carrier amplitude. So next is that so is zero zero one zero with an angle of <coughs> one ninety five degree with a magnitude of one seven five. And next one is this double zero double one with a phase carrier phase of two twenty five degree and the carrier amplitude is one. So like this same thing repeats for other four quadrants. Okay. So next one is this. So zero one double zero. So we know in the second quadrant, the phase is a one is 135 degree, right? So next is 0101 and uh, that phase is 105 degree with a magnitude of 175. So next one is 0110 with a phase of 165 degree and magnitude of 175. And this is a 135 degree with a magnitude of 1, okay? Carrier amplitude is 1. So next is uh, this fourth quadrant, right? So that message point is one double zero with an angle of 315 degree and a magnitude of 0 0.33. So next bit is this one double zero one with a phase angle of 285 degree and a magnitude of 0 0.75. Similarly, next one that is one zero one zero with a phase of 345 degree and a magnitude of 0 0.75. So next one is one zero one one with a carrier phase of 315 degree and a magnitude of one. Okay. So next the first quadrant that is double one double zero with a phase of 45 degree and a magnitude of 0.33. Right? That is double one zero one with a phase of 75 degree and a magnitude of 0.75. So this is triple one zero with an angle of 15 degree and a magnitude of 75. Uh, magnitude of 0.75. Right? This is four ones right? with a phase of 45 degree and a magnitude of one. So here I consider maximum amplitude is one. Okay, so it has three amplitude levels and uh, three phases. I said, right? I hope is it clear with this uh, simple uh, animation? Yes, sir. Uh, I try to uh, make it as simple as possible to understand how uh, this QAM works. Okay, with 16. Well, yeah, just to say this is the, uh, what I said about the previous one is the signal constellation diagram. And uh, see, the message points which are there at this so, one. So they're all the peak symbol power. This message point this message point and this message point and this message point. These are all big symbol for message point. It means having a maximum amplitude. And this having lowest amplitude. Okay. 
and uh, here uh, is written for starting from 4 to 64 okay so i hope uh, this is for m equal to 4 it means the four message points is 1 2 3 and 4 right next one is 16 right? 16 just we have understood one in is four message points in each quadrant four 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 so totally four into four is 16 so next one is 32 okay 32 means five message points in each quadrant is it so yes sir five and 64 64 means uh how many message points one six four yeah No, no, one, two, three, four. Means so 16. 16 in one uh, quadrant. So 16 into 4 is 64. Like that, for 32, it is not 5. So for 32, how many? 8. No, 8 for the 32. Right? So 8 in each quadrant. <coughs> and as I said, uh, with uh, different amplitude, different phases, okay so this type of modulation mcom that is uh, is used in uh, lte lte advanced even in 5g also because it provides means as the value of m increases it can provide more uh, data rate and speed also okay so this is one of the uh, very bandwidth efficient modulation scheme what we can say okay so any doubts if you have you can ask me i think with this my lecture is over if you have any doubts you can ask so no difficulties is it clear uh, no so, huh? Sir, when we are doing uh, this uh, quadrature amplitude modulation circuits, yeah, uh, we should design them like we should design them based on the amplitude method. So we should know the amplitude. Yeah, yeah, different amplitude. Yeah, different. Am See, usually the number of amplitude levels chosen would be less compared to the number of phase levels. I said no. With if we increase the number of amplitude levels, what is the difficulty? The difficulty is means change in amplitude is more susceptible to noise more susceptible to noise hence uh, always uh, the number of amplitude levels will be kept less when compared to the number of uh, phase levels yeah it has a two amplitude level uh, i have uh, just i have other ppts where uh, i can show different amplitude when with the different phase levels so i didn't take those things because i don't want to make it so complicated i think uh, uh, this much is more than enough for you to understand what form is. Yeah, definitely. With the different amplitudes, we need to choose. Then anything else? Just uh, go through. Um, just I started with basic. I hope. Uh, is it I, I think it is clear start with a bit to symbol then ask psk okay then with this uh probably this is very simple to understand the circuit right one symbol one bit with uh, pass and another bit with sign so if i combine those two i will be getting the quantum signal right with different amplitude levels and different pages mm. I think this is what is here written. So this is as per your text. Okay. So I mean I can only what is explained there. Uh, 